Hey, Alex, how are you? Good, good, very good. And you, how are you? Pretty good. Okay. It's rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been raining yeah. for a little while now. Uh, um, maybe like an hour ago, it's raining really hard, but now it's normal. Yes, 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 it's true. I watched some um, videos. Uh, it's a a big problem in, I don't know, it's Juan Pablo II, but it's a big problem because it's, it's a lot of water. Ah. Yeah, I imagine. In El Salvador, always there's a problem because the people are dirty. They put the trash in the, yeah. in the street and they yeah. don't clean. Yes, I know. The problem is, actually the problem, we generate, we generate the problem. That's right. In reality, yes. I think that yeah. the, one of the things to minimize the problem is the, that in El Salvador, we should eliminate plastic and have only biodegradable because, okay, just yeah. have, have problem, but in three months, six months, no plastic. It's organic. Yes. Yes. But, uh, but, but I, I don't know, but because I think this this problem in the server is, is okay, but around the world exists the same problem is the plastic. More but maybe or less. I don't know, maybe in uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. But I don't know, maybe in, in two, three or four years, maybe uh the the I don't know is the correct uh, way to say maybe the war obligate to the the uh, country uh, don't use the plastic, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe, yes. I think it's a good idea. I, 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 it takes work and it's a sacrifice because obviously plastic is very cheap and the people in El Salvador yeah. don't have a lot of money. So do you yes. understand? And maybe for the difference is maybe a quarter, a quarter between one, the plastic and the other, but eh, the people say, no, 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 but it's a quarter and then it's, or 50 cents and no, I prefer pay, pay less money. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 because sometimes uh, there are some products about the uh, res recycled or recycled. Recycled? Uh, recycled, but the people says, hey, it's, a, it's a, uh, expensive. I prefer, I prefer plastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. The people says, uh -huh. yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. so we'll see. Hey, I see we got more people in. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's everybody? How was your day today, guys? Hey, teacher. Hello. Hello. How was your day, Ana Vilma? Hello. Hello, Hello Alexander. <laughs> I'm tired and I got wet when I came to home. <laughs> totally, totally wet. <laughs> And I have to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the rain, huh? Yes. It is, it is still raining now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. still raining. Yes. Here by my house, it has been raining for, I don't know, for a good time now. Uh, yes. Here's true. Mm -hmm. Where do you live? Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Okay. Mm -hmm. I live in Modelo. Near from the zoo. Where's Modelo? It's near from the zoo, the national zoo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. I know. Okay. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. everywhere. Okay. Yes. 
but we go little by little. The important is that now we are in class, it's Thursday and we're ready. Yes. Yeah, okay. Ready. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so let's take a look. Let's get started. Uh, I see we got a few people here. Everybody connects in a few minutes, it's okay. So the typical thing, the first thing we're gonna do is not we're not going to talk about our, our day, but we're gonna talk about our plans for this weekend, okay? So we're gonna talk, hey, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? So the idea with our partners is all of those different things, okay? Where do okay. you go? What do you plan to do? Ask them and tell them. Remember, we're using future tenses for these activities, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Let's try. This one, we only need a few minutes. Hey, Gabby. Hi. How are you? How's the internet? Oh, it's it's so so, but I have. I have internet in my plan. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, good. <laughs> yes, because when it rains, it's very, it's very common that we have problems with internet, right? Yeah, and it, I think it's, it's um, failing, mm -hmm. but the, the data don't fail, hey. at least not that often. Okay, all right. <laughs> Good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in the group and you're going to talk about your plans for this weekend. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? It's going to be you and Francisco in a group. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. So talk about your plans for this weekend. Okay.
Hey, Anna, how are you? Anna, how are you? Fine. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Are you at home? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So no problems with the rain? No, no. <laughs> okay. No problem. Yes. Good. All right, guys. I see everybody's back as well. Uh, were there any vocabulary that you needed to describe your weekend or your plans for this weekend? Were there any words that you were thinking of? How do you say agendar? Ah, you can say plan. Plan, okay. Yeah, because you plan it, yes. Or okay. another very common word is schedule. Depends how you're going to use it. A schedule, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Because I... Like a verb. So you use it like a verb. Javier? Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the problem, Javier? No microphone. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, teacher. Here it's raining. Yeah, here too. Everywhere. <laughs> and I have that uh, love connection. No problem. No problem. If, if you if you don't use the camera, it's better the connection for the internet. So, uh, okay. Uh huh. So if you have bad connection today, don't use the camera because. Is is uh is better with no camera for when you have sm a bad signal. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Good. Anybody else? Any other vocabulary? Any other words? I'd like to know how do you say when you want to tell that a person gets the COVID and it's positive, but in just one phrase. Mm, maybe infected. Mm, okay, but if I want to know, if, I, what I want to say is that she makes the test and she's positive. Correct. So she's infected and, and that's, that's well, all. She has, she has positive results. Oh, positive um, results. Yes, positive results or her exam was positive or, uh-huh. But the comment was it, she's infected. Mm -hmm. It's her. Okay. Yeah, Francis. When I when I was uh, near a person positive in COVID nineteen, uh, I am um, Nexus. Yes. Nexus is a correct word. Is a correct word. Is you are close to the uh, the person. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. Any other questions? <laughs> Any other words? Okay. No. So let's take a look at, I know that some of you have some questions about the exam. So let's make sure that it's clear. Are there any parts or anything in the exam that is not clear for you? I, I yes, I, I, have a, I have a question. Mm -hmm. By the exam. In the letter B, in my sense, letter B. In letter B, okay. Letter, yes, letter B. And the number three, say, I flaming wrote the change from novels. I rewrite the sentence used by, I write the change from novels, the change from novels, 
were wrote by no, no were wrote were written written oh, okay thank you okay. you're welcome because it, remember always when you use a was or were the, the passive is always the verb in past participle that is part of Mm. Okay. Yes. Not yes. past tense. Past participle. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. So it. Let me put. So it should be like that, Francisco. Okay. Well, we can change one. Mm -hmm. Okay, sometimes we confuse because the regular verbs is the past tense, ed, ed, but it's not past tense, it's past participle, past participles. Um, maybe, maybe in the last, the, the, the next, the next question, the, the, the same, we write because I, I did this part and I wrong, I did exactly this in the same form in the next question. But I don't remember exactly, but I, I, I understand what happened. Okay, okay. Yes, probably in the next question was uh, Gustav Eiffel designed the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Oh, okay, yes. But yeah. design is the regular verb, so it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. So design is okay because only you use the ED, the past tense, is the same yeah. as the verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions or any other sections that is not clear? No? no, so okay, so everybody is finished with the exam now. No, 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 I didn't. Okay, so uh, I didn't yeah. finish. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, okay, okay, let's take. The important is that we work together and we complete. So let's take maybe, um, I think 15 minutes, only uh, only enough to finish. Yes? Okay. 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 So okay. let's work with our partners. Let's make sure that we, the, remember the most important is not complete the exam. Yes, this is important, but the most important is that you understand why is correct or why is wrong. If not, ask, because if you complete, but you don't understand, it's not logical. It's not logical, right? So with our, with our partners, this is the idea. We're going to work with our partners and try to complete. We have, let's say 15 minutes to complete the parts. Okay. Okay. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Hello, Gabby. Hi. Hello, Henry. Hello. Hi. I'm trying to 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 connect. To log in in the in the platform. You just I'd... take. Mm -hmm. uh, have you, did you do the, the midterm? But I see you didn't, uh, you didn't accept into the groups or you guys didn't receive the invitation. Oh, let, me let me see, let me see. Okay, let me close the groups and then start again. That way it makes it easier for you. Okay. Okay, guys, we're gonna try it one more time. I see some people had a little bit of problems connecting. So. I'm going to send the invitation again, and then that way everybody okay. can, that way everybody can connect. Okay, teacher. Okay. Let's...
Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work. But I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls, on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. Three. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away, but it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah. I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. 4. What have you been doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos for a while. Laos? I just read an article about Laos. I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country, especially the city where I lived. It was built at the point where the Mekong River meets the Khan River. Yeah, I think I read about it. Isn't that the place with lots of temples? Yeah, and fortunately, I had time to visit many of them. My favorite temple is called Golden City Monastery. It was built on the riverbank nearly 500 years ago. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. 1. I wasn't surprised that the last Lord of the Rings movie won so many awards. It was fantastic. Did you like it, Joe? Sure. The acting was good and the special effects were great. It was an exciting movie, wasn't it? Yeah, but you know, Marion, I think Spider-Man was even better. What? You do? Why? Well, I've always been interested in superheroes like Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. <laughs> Did you used to read a lot of comic books when you were a kid? Of course. 
I loved reading comics about superheroes who do good things with their special powers. How about you? Well, I was fascinated by all Tolkien's novels. You know, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Maybe that's why we like to see those types of movies today. 2. Okay, here's some good movie trivia for you, Barbara. All right, what's the question? Who is the actor that starred in Cold Mountain? Oh, that's easy. It was Ben Affleck. No, you're wrong. Jude Law was the actor who starred in that movie. And do you remember who his co-star was? Wasn't it Sharon Stone? Wrong again. You're terrible. Is she even making movies anymore? Well, I guess I haven't been to the movies in a while. How do you know so much about Hollywood news? I guess I read a lot of entertainment magazines. 3. Do you understand what a teacher means when she says that attendance is mandatory? Well, I guess it probably means you have to go to class every day. You know, you won't be allowed to miss any classes this semester. Or maybe it means that the teacher will lower your grade if you miss a class. But what happens if I'm sick and I can't come to class? I don't know. Maybe we should ask her. Excuse me, Yukiko and I want to know what you meant when you said class attendance is mandatory. Oh, that means you must attend every class during the semester. 4. I can't believe it, Lynn. This is the first time I've seen a Broadway musical. Pretty exciting, isn't it, Brett? It sure is. By the way, it says here in the program that you have to turn off your cell phone before the performance starts. Oh, that's right. Thanks for reminding me. And it says you aren't allowed to take any photos or videos during the performance. Uh-huh. I knew that. No cameras or video cameras are allowed. And did you know that you can't eat or drink anything in the theater? Yeah. If you want, we can go outside during the intermission to get a snack. That's a good idea. One more time. Let's listen and make sure you have the right answers. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in. But I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? Two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work. But I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls, on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. 3. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away, but it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah. I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. 4. What have you been doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos for a while. Laos? I just read an article about Laos. 
I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country, especially the city where I lived. It was built at the point where the Mekong River meets the Khan River. Yeah, I think I read about it. Isn't that the place with lots of temples? Yeah, and fortunately, I had time to visit many of them. My favorite temple is called Golden City Monastery. It was built on the riverbank nearly 500 years ago. Okay. Now let's check the other one one more time. Hey, Byron. Hi, teacher. I'm sorry I'm late, but I'm still at, at work. <laughs> no problem, Byron. Let me put you into the group. Thank you. Let's see. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. I wasn't surprised that the last Lord of the Rings movie won so many awards. It was fantastic. Did you like it, Joe? Sure. The acting was good and the special effects were great. It was an exciting movie, wasn't it? Yeah. But you know, Marion, I think Spider-Man was even better. What? You do? Why? Well, I've always been interested in superheroes like Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. <laughs> Did you used to read a lot of comic books when you were a kid? Of course. I loved reading comics about superheroes who do good things with their special powers. How about you? Well, I was fascinated by all Tolkien's novels. You know, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Maybe that's why we like to see those types of movies today. Two. Okay, here's some good movie trivia for you, Barbara. All right, what's the question? Who is the actor that starred in Cold Mountain? Oh, that's easy. It was Ben Affleck. No, you're wrong. Jude Law was the actor who starred in that movie. And do you remember who his co-star was? Wasn't it Sharon Stone? Wrong again. You're terrible. Is she even making movies anymore? Well, I guess I haven't been to the movies in a while. How do you know so much about Hollywood news? I guess I read a lot of entertainment magazines. Three. Do you understand what a teacher means when she says that attendance is mandatory? Well, I guess it probably means you have to go to class every day. You know, you won't be allowed to miss any classes this semester. Or maybe it means that the teacher will lower your grade if you miss a class. But what happens if I'm sick and I can't come to class? I don't know. Maybe we should ask her. Excuse me, Yukiko and I want to know what you meant when you said class attendance is mandatory. Oh, that means you must attend every class during the semester. Four. I can't believe it, Lynn. This is the first time I've seen a Broadway musical. Pretty exciting, isn't it, Brett? It sure is. By the way, it says here in the program that you have to turn off your cell phone before the performance starts. Oh, that's right. Thanks for reminding me. And it says you aren't allowed to take any photos or videos during the performance. Uh-huh. I knew that. No cameras or video cameras are allowed. And did you know that you can't eat or drink anything in the theater? Yeah. If you want, we can go outside during the intermission to get a snack. That's a good idea.
Okay, guys. Were you able to complete it now? Was that better? Were there any questions? In my case, just I, I need the final, um, the last part, but it's okay. At, at the end, at the after the class, I continue. Okay. Um, oh, yes. Yes, Alex. Yes, the idea is that uh, to finish to finish it uh, this weekend. So, good. Maria? Yes. Mm -hmm. Maria, did you have a question? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, we we worked with Anne, Anna, okay. but we and didn't finish. You didn't finish? No. No. Um, okay. But I I have to work with Anna if she she wants to work with me. Okay. <laughs> Only I need you, a message for oh. her. <laughs> okay. And and Maria is you are in. The, do you finish uh, A, B, C, or uh, only A I finished. I finished all, but I, Anna I didn't finish. Ah, OK, OK, I understand. I understand, OK? okay. Good. Uh, Francisco? But, uh, oh, yes, uh, Anna? Uh, how do you pronounce status? 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 No. The word is status. You, you write status. How do you pronounce? Statues. Like statues. For the, for the reading or from the Easter Island, for the statues in Easter Island. Uh -huh. Yes, statues. Statues. Yes. Uh, similar. Uh, like statues. Statues. Si sorry, sorry, Anna. Similar what? It's similar are uh, status. Status. Sort of, except that, uh, like in the cell phone, is a status. The cell phone is the status, or Facebook is status, and this is statues. Statues. Mm -hmm. Statue. Yes. Statue. Oh. Okay. Like a Egyptian. Statue. Yeah, like the Egyptian statues or the pyramids. Yes, the those are the statues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. okay thank you. Oh, all right. Okay, so I, I see that we still have some people that didn't finish. It's okay if you didn't finish, but remember, it's necessary this weekend to finish. It's necessary to finish uh, up to including the exams. So section A, B, C, or D, and E, you have to finish this weekend, okay? Yes. Uh, okay, so you can finish today after class, tomorrow, but the important is to complete it that way you advance with the platform. Okay. Before we continue, were there any questions? Anything that uh, you say, no, I didn't understand? Mm, okay. Well, that one's okay. All right, excellent. So then let's continue. Let's look, we're going to be making sure that we all start together. Unit four, okay, unit four. Uh, describing feelings and gestures. So first, let's learn some vocabulary to describe feelings and gestures. Remember, feelings is the synonym emotions, okay? And gestures are physical things that you do. These are the gestures. So here we have some vocabulary we're going to learn about both of those. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's threatening his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed? Bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. In his eyes. Okay, let's take a look there. Okay, so we can see we have several different ones. This one, letter A, what is he doing? He's he scratching his head. head. Yeah, he's scratching his hair. He's scratching his head. Sorry, he's scratching his head. 
Okay. What's letter B? What's letter B? He's drinking his nose. 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 He's drinking his Someone have noise in the bathroom. Yes, I think, yes. I'm going to put a big party in the bathroom. Oh, oh. I don't know who it is, but the compañero se viene a limpiar, and that's the one. Oh, oh. <laughs> the head pipes, put, put on silent. That way we, we know it's okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's better. I don't know okay. who, but it's good. Thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who to. <laughs> uh -huh. Letter B is he's wrinkling his nose. Letter yes. C, what was letter C? He's rolling his eyes. Rolling his he's eyes. rolling his eyes. Correct. He's rolling his eyes. Good. What about letter D? What's letter D? He's beating his head. Good. Biting. He's biting. He's biting. He's biting. Biting. His biting. Okay. Biting. Letter E. What's letter E? Tapping okay. his foot. He's tapping, he's tapping, his, tapping his, his foot. That's right. He's tapping his foot. And tapping. the last one, letter F. He's trying his hair. He's, he's scratching. Scratching. Scratching hair. Or drilling his hair. Uh -huh. uh, twirling. Twirling. Yes. yes. Okay. No, no, no. A, a is twirling his a, hair. A is twirling, twirling his hair. hair is a uh, F is scratching his hair. So twirling. make it make it curly. Make it curly. It's like make it curly. Correct. Yes. That's the idea. Twirling his hair. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> I I didn't watch, but the answer is is in the in the in the name yes 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 the, the answer is <laughs> here only that is difficult yeah. to see it's difficult to okay. see that's why we review but here yes if you can see the answers are here but for example this one is a little difficult to see and i'm not sure in this yeah. one so, okay. well, but yes okay now all of these, okay. all of these are to describe the emotions here in letter b look at the vocabulary yeah. Do you understand the different emotions in letter B? Oh. Irritate. Mm -hmm. uh, irritated is like when something bothers you, when you are not happy. Maybe it is. Uh, Similar to annoying. Similar to annoyed, correct. Okay. Irritated is similar to annoyed, yes. E, e is uh, impatient, impatient. E. Correct, letter E would be impatient. Yes, mm -hmm. that would be somebody that is impatient. Mm -hmm. Letter D is nervous. Mm. Okay, yes, yes, letter D would be nervous. Very good. Yes, yes. Letter E is impatient. Correct. Letter E is impatient. Um, uh, a, bored, bored. Maybe yes. Maybe bored. Be, be or, or maybe maybe confused. Is confused. 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 Yes. F F confused. F confused. F is confused. Yeah. Uh -huh. D nervous. D nervous, no. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and B, letters. B may be embarrassed too. Embarrassed? Yeah, I, B? Think that, B? I think letter B is good. Good idea for embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Teacher, okay. letter C is disgust or ex disgust or bored? Um, yes, it could be. It could be. Frustrated. Uh huh, because when you're A, frustrated, like, maybe. Yes, when you roll your eyes, you are normally frustrated, right? You're like, ah, oh, no. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. That's okay. the idea. Mm -hmm. 
Good. So here are all of the words that we learned about those and describing the feelings. Now, okay. why are those important? Okay. It's important because the topic we're going to look at is body language. Body language is how do you speak with your body? Not only the words. For example, if I say, oh, I'm happy. Oh, but my body language doesn't say happy. And this is the idea for body language. So let's watch a small video on uh, have a conversation and then we can practice, okay? Okay. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. So what does the... Let's take a moment. Here we have the conversation. One more time. And practice. Okay. okay. Let's see. First, are there any words you don't know? Oh... Uh... Uh, really, really, I, I don't know what mean is oh I noticed in that case I noticed one thing I noticed uh, I pay attention so do you notice is you pay attention or do you see okay okay any other words? Okay, so the first thing is here, what is the unusual body language that Raj does? What does Raj do that is different? Uh, in the Indian, it's a uh, custom move the head, the side by side, when I agree, uh, uh, when I agree everything. But uh, in our culture, move the, the, the head, but the side by side is not agree, disagree. <laughs> exactly. And for them, for us to agree is move the head up and down, right? We say, yeah. uh, uh huh. But for mm -hmm. them is, they, I don't know. They, side they, to side. They side to side, like that, something <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. exactly. So now we're going to do two things. One, we're going to practice the conversation one time wrong and then my partner, Emily. And then the next part, uh, we can have anybody. Peter. How did you met Rach? Uh -huh. from India. And then the next partner. Oh, I haven't. Okay. You will. I'm really. It's OK, Andrew. Hang on a second. And then the next time, the other partner. Sorry. OK, no problem. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry. No, 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 no problem, Henry. No problem. So first, we practice with our partners. And then we discuss what is maybe for other countries different for our body language in El Salvador. What is something that we do in El Salvador that maybe is not normal for other countries? What do you think? Okay. Like as an example, for me, my wife is Salvadorian. So my wife has the, she points, she points, but she doesn't, she points like many Salvadorian, not with the finger, with the mouth. Mm, 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 look, mm, look. And then, ah, what? What? Look <laughs> what? I don't understand. And mm, 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 with the mouth, I, I don't understand. But I, now I understand. Now I understand. So like example like this, right? So first, practice the conversation and to discuss the body language from El Salvador or from other countries that maybe is different. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's practice 
with our groups. Hang on. Let me change. For this one, I, I think that is enough to be seven minutes. Have you met? Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means.
Okay, guys. So I'm very interested to hear in what are some of the body languages that you thought of that are different in El Salvador or other countries? The Salvadorians make like a dog. Yes, it's a bad habit. <laughs> okay. When they want to talk, hey. <laughs> yes, yes. And teacher, uh, can I speak Spanish? No, Javier, you cannot. I can, I can explain the, the, I can explain the, the yes, Javier, idea. You can. Yes, you can explain, Javier. I believe in you. I have confidence in you. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't have to say in, in English. La persona se encuentra en alza en la cabeza. Es, es un hábito del salvadoreño. Uh -huh. But how do they... How do you say in English? That is, they say hello. They okay. say hello. With the... Raise the hand. Yes. Raise. Raise or Raise lift. the hand. Raise yes. the hand. Mm -hmm. Raising their head or lifting their head. Mm -hmm. okay. But this is okay. more like, what's your problem or, or something? What like happened? That. <laughs> in the other countries, yes. In the other country, yes. eh, what, this is what's your problem. But, <laughs> but, but he's mm -hmm. correct. Eh, Javier is correct. Many Salvadorians, they say hello. And you see that on the head. But in the other countries, no, this is no hello. This is a, hey, what, you want to fight? What happened? What happened? What happened? Uh -huh. <laughs> ¿Qué ondas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh-huh, they only, hey, uh-huh, it's cool, it's cool, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see in that Salvador is very common, right? We have, uh, the, we use the, the idea for, how are you, how was your weekend? And then the people use that, they shake mm -hmm. their hands for drinking, right? They, like, hey, yes. uh-huh, and it's, oh, wow, <laughs> it's alcoholic. <laughs> in our country, the, the gesture, uh, what do you want or what's up is ah uh, yes we turn the hand right we we mm -hmm. turn the hand like this <laughs> turn the hand or when we, when we talk about money we use the fingers like hey you need yes or like this right i have a lot of this or mm -hmm. i need this uh-huh mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is the idea we're going to be looking at um, next week is definitely looking more at body language, being able to describe the meanings. What is the purpose of these different things that we express? Okay. 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 So remember, practice, well, not practice, finish the exams. That way you have the platform completed. Unit one, two, and three, and is obligation complete the exam. These four things you need to complete. One, two, three, and the exam. Okay. 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 Thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Okay. I see you next okay. week. Have a nice weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.